엘라우리 원 안정철 Today I want to explain how to install RHEL the 7RC on VMware Workstation 9. In this video, I consist of the, this kind of topics. First one, to install the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7RC on the VMware 9, you need to prepare the, this kind of things. First one, in my case, for to install the, this version, I prepare like this. Host PC, the Windows 7, the 64-bit, and the VMware Workstation 9. And the guest voice will be the RHEL 7RC 64-bit. So, to install this kind of the version, please the set up VMware Workstation 9 for RHEL the 7RC. And uh, number three, the download this the file where here. If you visit this uh, the URL, the you can download especially the server buttons. There are two buttons, the client and the server, but in my case, I will use the server button. And the folder install installation of the RH7RC, I will allocate the hard disk, the 30 gigabyte, and the memory size will be 2 gigabyte, and networking will be the NAT. Okay, then let's try to the install here. Okay. Now I already started the VMware, so here I will start the installation of the RHS 7 RSA first. Create a new virtual machine and next. In my case, I will install the operating system later. And uh, Linux and uh, here Red Hat. Okay, uh, please select this one Red Hat Enterprise Linux 64 bit. And the name, okay, here I will change the 7 and the directory will be make as the D drive and the virtual machine and RHEL7. Okay, then next. And the hard disk will be the 30 gigabyte and the store virtual disk as a single file. And the customize. So here in my case, I will delete the floppy. And after that, in the CD ROM here, please define the path your ISO file you already download. In my case, uh, download program OS. Uh, the OS here you can find IHR7. Okay, close. So now I'm already the ready to install RH Enterprise Linux 7. Okay, then power on. Okay, here install the RH Enterprise Linux 7. Okay, enter. Now this one is checking the my ISO file from the CD ROM. Okay, now Anaconda is started. So here at first, the uh, what kind of language will be the used for this installation process? In my case, I will use the English. Okay, continue. And then you can find uh, this kind of screen. So here at first time, I will just select the date and time. So in my case now, uh, okay, the prompt pen. Okay, in my case, the Asia and the Cambodia, the prompt pen. Okay, done. And after that, the language, also language, uh, in my case, I will support the Korean, done. And the installation source, in my case, I will use the ISO file, this one, I already downloaded this one. Okay, done. And the software the selection, in my case, there are around the six kind of items we can select for uh, installation. In my case, I will select the server with GUI. So here you can select the each the uh, application you want to install. So in my case, I will install 
DNS directory mail server FTP and uh, okay. Java platforms and the KDE and uh, okay uh, in the RHEL7 the, the default database MariaDB not MySQL so I will install MariaDB database servers and uh, okay remote and the management tool here and the libraries okay then i will select according to your the needs what the demands you can the select this kind of packages okay done okay then let's uh, i will the check the networking here okay so in my case i will try to the configure this one okay so the name ens32 in my case so please check automatically the correct this network is available and if you want to the set up your network using the dhs feature then you don't need to configure here but if you want to change to manual so in my case i will select the manual so here add so in my case ip address will be 80.13 the mass 24 gateway on 921682 okay and the dns server 1921682 in my case 82 and my domain will be char.com okay, then save so then you can find your configuration ip address in my case the, the manually this one 80.13 okay done so now the installation destination so i finish the other things so here if we just uh, finish the this process then will be successful so in my case the hard disk this one will be the 30 gigabyte we already allocate and after that for the creation of the partition we can select this one i will configure partitioning then done again here get selected okay done okay then we can uh, see this gun this gun so here i will the uh, create the standard partitions so here if you want to create a partition here just click the plus okay. then mount point the first time i will be the boot and this one will be the 200 the bigger byte and have that also i will locate root so here in my case the 15 the gigabyte so but point and after that the swap so also here around two gigabyte okay and i will add one more home around two gigabyte okay then let's check first on boot so the so standard partition the direct the capacity mean the size the size of this partition and the file system here we can find this kind of file system and the rhel 7 the default file system is xfs okay root 2 xfs and the uh, home also xfs so we will i uh, will create this kind of the partitions and the, the other partitions later we can use the left the uh, space okay then done okay this one means the RHEA will the format we already created the partition accept changes okay then begin installation then this one will start the formatting and the installation of the packages we already selected and also we can uh, create our root and usual password here so here in my case root password okay done so if you see the this kind of the message weak then you need to create the password again
okay then i create the root password and also you can create the user uh, name also okay in my case i will create the tland and the password okay then i also if you want to create your the general user as a the administrator then you can select this box as well but in my case just general user so in this process maybe this process will be around will the take around 10 or 50 minutes according to your computer's specifications just now take a break and drink a cup of coffee then see you again Okay, now the installation process is complete, then just click the reboot. Here, enter. Okay, here license information, so I accept the license. Okay, then done. License agreement done. Can have the that the finish configuration. Okay, then here, just here, just click the forward the finish. Okay, just move on this one. Okay, forward, and uh, for the registration, so no, I put uh, to register and later. Okay, finish. Okay, in my case, I will uh, login using the root. Okay, now I'm successful to install the RACL 7.0 RC buttons. So, for example, if we want to, okay, here. Okay, next okay this one so if we want to just uh, use this application so here to press just a click so in my case the first time I will click the terminal so here okay let's check host name and uh, project the uh, IP address in my case I'm using this IP address so just uh, click if you want to use some applications especially the in case of the terminals here you can use what the uh, browser and the other part as well and the places just the home you can go to the some the directory directly and the terminal and uh, if you want to the change network setting then you can use the network manager here sound and the root and the date and time like this okay so far i show you how to use how to the install rhel the 7 rc on vmware 9 thank you for watching this video and god bless you